you come you to my youtube, YouTube channel mac pm uh, in today's video we will solve a numerical problem on uh, gears so let's read the problem the following data relate to two missing gears velocity ratio of 1 by 3 so we will note down velocity ratio is equal to 1 by 3 and uh, module is equal to 4 mm so m is equal to 4 mm pressure angle phi is 20 degree and center distance is 200 mm c is 200 mm determine the number of teeth and the base circle uh, radius of the gear wheel so there are two gears so let's draw this So if two gears are missing, then uh, first one driver gear is called pinion, pinion, and this is called gear. So what will be the center distance? Center will distance will be the distance between the center of two uh, C1, C2 or center. So distance between the center of uh, pinion and gear. So what will be the value of the distance? You can see that it will be sum of the radius of first gear and second gear. So we can say that C is equal to R1 plus R2. Okay. So we can write the formula. We know that this uh, diameter of the gear is module into number of teeths because the formula of module itself is diameter by number of teeths. So radius will be m t by 2 okay so we know that c is 200 so we will write 200 is equal to c is r1 plus r2 so we can write that 200 is equal to r1 is equal to m t1 by 2 plus m t2 by 2 m will be same because for uh, two meeting gears module will be always same so we can write 200 is equal to m t1 plus t2 divided by 2 so we can write from here t1 plus t2 is equal to 200 into 2 divided by m what is m m is 4 mm so you can you can see that 200 into 2 will be 400 divided by 4 is equal to 100 so t1 plus t2 is 4 sorry 100 this is equation number 2 this is equation number 1 now we know that velocity ratio is 1 by 3 so what is velocity ratio velocity ratio is n2 by n1 or it is equal to t1 by t2 number of it is ratio of the speeds of the two gears or ratio of the t number of teeths so t1 t1 by t2 is equal to 1 by 3 so t2 is equal to if we take this side 3 t1 so this is equation number 3 so if you put the value of t2 in equation number 2 then it will become t1 plus 3 t1 is equal to 100 so it will become 4 t1 is equal to 100 so t1 will be 100 by 4 is equal to 25 so this gear uh, t1 has uh, sorry gear number 1 has 25 days so if we if put the value of t1 in the equation number 2 then we will get 20 or from here you can see from equation number 3 t2 is equal to 3 t1 will which will be equal to 3 into 25 is equal to 75 so this gear has 75 states i hope it is clear up to here now 
what we have to find determine the number of teeth in base circle radius of the gear wheel so first of first uh, we have to find the radius or diameter of this gear wheel what will be the uh, radius of the gear wheel r2 is equal to m t2 by 2 which will be equal to 4 into 75 divided by 2 which will be equal to 150 mm so what will be the base circle diameter diameter of base circle will be equal to the uh, radius sorry we have to find radius so radius of b base circle will be equal to radius of gear number 2 divided by pressure angle cos pressure angle sorry multiplied by cos phi which will be equal to 150 into cos 20 which will be equal to 141 mm i hope you understood the problem uh, if you have any doubt then you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching this video